It was an absolute game changer for my type 2 diabetic patients when GLP-1 medications like Azempic burst onto the scene. We were able to get a lot of these patients off their insulin, off their blood pressure medications, and their energy levels just skyrocketed. And then I started prescribing it to my overweight patient. And GLP-1 medications, as well as another medication class, they're poised to offer yet another massive benefit, and that is on dementia. So let's start by looking at the GLP-1 medications. So in a 2020 study, researchers reviewed data from the Rewind study, which was a large study of diabetic patients, and they found that treatment with a GLP-1 medication reduced the risk of brain function decline by about 14%. And a brand new study examined nine years of health data from almost 100,000 patients with type 2 diabetes, and they compared outcomes and those taking GLP-1 medications compared to other treatments. And those taking a GLP-1 medication had a massive, and, and get this, 33% lower risk of developing dementia compared to taking other treatments. And the other medication class that's also poised to offer huge benefits in terms of brain health is SGLT2 inhibitors. So a meta-analysis published last year in 2024 looked at three observational studies and it investigated the link between SGLT2 inhibitors and dementia. And overall it found that SGLT2 inhibitors they were associated with a 38% lower dementia risk. Now, a lot of this is observational data, so we can't get too excited just yet, but there's fairly clear associations here, and I'm looking forward to further treatments and further trials that look specifically at that risk of dementia and whether we can start to use these medications to try and reduce our dementia risks. So there are trials underway. We do have the large Evoke and Evoke Plus trials that again are looking at the impact of SGLT2 inhibitors over a three-year period for those with early stage Alzheimer's disease. And I can't wait to actually report those results, which are due in about 2026.